Good day everyone! For today's group presentation, we will tackle the development of motivation and self-regulation. But before that, let me introduce our group. Let's start with Kriyad Mordoran, Annalinia Carino, Marielle Bravo, Janilin Hipulan, Anna Marie Batikin, Jocelyn Munleon, and I'm Shala Vibron, and we are your reporter for today. Alright, and now to begin, let us all know what is the development of motivation and self-regulation. The development of motivation and self-regulation is an active, constructive process whereby learners set goals for their learning and then attempt to monitor, regulate, and control their cognition, motivation, and behavior guided and constrained by their goals. Therefore, the self-regulation promotes learning which leads to perception of greater competence which sustains motivation toward the goal and the future goals. And here is our concept map about the development of motivation and self-regulation. Let us now start exploring the development of motivation and self-regulation. Ms. Anna Marie Batikin, please proceed to the two theories of development of motivation and self-regulation. Of motivation often described as system of needs that motivate people's actions. Content theory includes the work of David McLean, Abraham Maslow, and other psychologists as they attempted to explain why human needs change, but not how they change. While process theories of motivation attempt to explain how and why our motivation affect our behaviors. These theories focus on the mechanism by which we choose a target and the effort that we exert. can be seen in diagram, ERG theory is an acronym for existence, relatedness, and growth. These are the three basic needs that employees will try to satisfy in the model as one need is filled. This will provide motivations for the employee to want to fulfill another need. All the three needs must be satisfied simultaneously in order for an individual. The ERG motivation theory were situations, the frustrations, regressions, principle, impact, workplace, motivation. For example, if broad opportunities are not provided for, to employees, they are may regress to relatedness, needs, and socialize. In 1961, an American psychologist named David McLean identified three motivators that he believed we all had. A need for achievement, a need for affiliation, and a need for power. He says that these motivators are learned. That's why this theory is sometimes called the learned needs theory. Proper guidance and assistance from parents, caregivers, and teachers plays a big role on activating those motivators that is necessary to meet the child's needs. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is a charted set of components that are crucial for an individual to achieve complete development and self-actualization. This model offers parents a way of thinking through what children need most. Parents have to attend to the basic needs of their children before they can expect them to reach their full potential. A significant takeaway from looking at Maslow's theory is that the positive human condition rests on being healthy in body and mind. Hi, I'm Rosalind Mumiyon. So that was the theories of development of motivation and self-regulation. The content theories is a subset of motivational theories that try to define what motivates people. And the process theory is a system of ideas that explains how an entity changes and develops. And the hierarchy of needs is a human behavior in terms of basic needs for survival and growth. And the ARG theory, or let's say ERG theory, is an individual who remains at a particular need label until that need is satisfied. And the shaping behavior of controlling the consequences of the behavior. And that's all. Thank you.